Peter MacDonald is a Canadian software engineer, best known as the creator of Softlanding Linux System (SLS), widely regarded as the first complete Linux distribution. Some of his work served as a foundation of Wine. He also created the TCL web browser Browsix, and the PDQI suite of TCL utilities. Current projects include JSish, an embeddable JavaScript interpreter with built-in type checking. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Peter Charles MacDonald was born in Victoria, British Columbia on June 28, 1957. He graduated from the Computer Science Program of the University of Victoria with a BSc and MSc master's thesis, decomposing the Linux kernel into dynamically loadable modules. SLS McDonald Co. developed early features of the Linux kernel in the early 1990s, including shared libraries, pseudo-terminals, the select call and virtual consoles. He announced Softlanding Linux System SLS, the first standalone Linux install, for testing in August 1992 on 15 floppy disks, and for general release in October 1992 recommending at least 10 MB of disk space, SLS became popular, but also drew criticism. McDonald was criticized for trying to make money on free software, but defended by Linus Torvalds. Two of the early Linux distributions were made specifically in reaction to SLS, Ian Murdoch's Debian to compensate for SLS's bugs, and Patrick Volkerding's Slackware to include installer patches which weren't added to SLS, and which McDonald wouldn't allow Volkerding to distribute independently. Other software The initial 1993 Wine Windows emulator was based on TCL, TK windowing functions McDonald wrote though later rewritten as Direct XLIB calls. McDonald founded Browsex Systems in 1999, and put out version 1.0 of Browsex, an open source TCL based cross platform web browser, meant to be smaller and faster than Netflix. Netscape. The last update of Browsix was in 2003. The company was renamed to PDQ Interfaces Inc. and put out a set of various TCL based utilities. JSish, a JavaScript interpreter with built in SQLite, JSON, WebSocket, and ZVFS support. 